Hey guys, this is Miko from MO Sound Lab, and I'm super happy to announce the Miko Oring plugin. Okay, so that should give you a quick idea of what the Miko Oring sounds like. If you're not familiar with the Miko plugin, I'll just quickly go through it. So, uh, this is what we call a next generation cabinet simulator. You can add up to nine microphones on the speakers that you have in these cabinets, and you can move these microphones in a 3D space, meaning that this is actually a 360 objects, this speaker. If you place this microphone on a different side of this speaker, it will sound completely different, just like in real life. You also have a distance control, so you can pull the microphone back uh, to 16 inches. So, with this new Orin plugin that we made, um, you also have the addition of the 7B microphone that we started using this year. So, you have one new microphone, and obviously, if you already purchased the full version of the Miko, previously that pack is now called the Miko Essentials and that comes with nine cabinets so I have all the nine cabinets in here but also I have the new O-ring in this list and what this actually means is that I can if I want to let's just remove some of these microphones I can have two mics and have one of them be on the O-ring and then I can for example have the other one on a mega cabinets and I can blend these two cabinets together and create unique sounds that would have never really been possible before and I can make the mics fit each other so if I play the music Okay, so that was a really quick demonstration, but I found two different microphone positions that work really well together. Uh, one is on the O-ring and the other one is on the Mega cabinet. So it's really simple and easy to use and you choose the microphone positioning, not me or not some other IR producer. You have the ultimate control. And with the Miko plugin you can export IRs in mono or in stereo, meaning that you have always had the control of panning the IRs, meaning that, for example, in this instance, if I wanted to have the O-ring on the left side, I just pan it all the way to the left. If I want uh, the Mega to be on the right, I just pan it 100% right, or obviously you can do the in-between, so if you leave these pans like in between and now you export a stereo IR they will be panned sort of not a hundred percent to the side you can also export the mono and right sides separately which is probably a lot more handy for anyone using a modeler with these on top of that with the Miko you have the impedance and cut control so with the impedance you can add uh, some tube amp color into your tone very realistically meaning that usually if you use a power amp you will get kind of a mid scoop meaning that you'll get more low end if you're looking at that EQ graph you'll have a good idea uh, you'll get more more low end and uh, at 100 percent these are realistic what I measured from the real amp so uh, you get kind of this middle scoop thing going on and if you're using something like a preamp pedal or something that doesn't have a power amp in it and you feel like it doesn't sound like a real tube amp if you use this impedance control you will get that tube amp color into that sound so you can also do this and then you can export this IR and it will have that power amp color in that IR so it'll fit perfectly with your pedal. Now along with the Miko Oring release we're also updating the Miko to 1.2.0 as you can see down here and with this update the Miko is getting a license manager so if you open the license manager you'll see all the packs that you have 
and you can get licenses for these using this plugin. So what you do is you copy this request key, use it on our website and you can purchase any of the licenses for the new packs. Also the Miko O-ring comes with sweet spots that I've chosen beforehand so these are kind of the microphone positions that I would choose myself. As you can see they're kind of on top of each other so in real life if you would be placing microphones like this it would be very difficult or impossible. Uh, if you're afraid that they're on top of each other you can now just use the middle row of your mouse to switch between the different microphones that you want to use. It's really simple and as always a double click will solo a mic, uh, a right click will mute a microphone. So for example if you wanted to create a tone here all you need to do is uh, mute the microphones that you don't want to use and um, maybe just use the 57 and the 7B like I did before and this is what it would sound like. Again, super easy to create your own mixes and kind of use my templates as uh, a good starting point. Obviously, if you disagree with me, for example, that maybe the 57 is too much to the side or too much to the cone, um, well, you can change that. You can change that here. So if you wanted a brighter position, just place the microphone more in the middle. If you wanted a darker position, move it to the side. It's fully customizable and as always, once you have the sound that you like, you can use this plugin in the DAW and make changes afterwards or if you want to use this IR in your modeler, just export the IR in the format that your modeler supports and import it and you're good to go. Thank you for watching the video and see you guys later. Bye.